time for our jump ball segment of this episode. And this time around, it has to do with WNBA hot takes for the second half of the year that, again, we actually believe. Um, And for me, I feel like, and again, y'all probably look at me silly, and I'm waffling before, I'm waffling with this as we speak. I think the Dallas Wings will end up making the playoffs by some miracle when they get all their pieces back. Satu Sabali, what she does, you're looking at 18 points that you don't have right now. Maddie Segrist coming back. Hopefully the rookie Jalen Brown will be available. I know they have not played well for a number of reasons, whether style to play, the injuries. But I just can't find it in me to count them out just yet. So I think they are going to make the playoffs. They have pieces. We saw what they did last year. They gave the Aces a lot of trouble right during the regular season. I think it can happen. So that that's my, my hot take. Okay. Tarika's tight lip grin whenever she does that <laughs> in her mind, she she's probably like, this is BS, but okay. I love you, but but no. She gave you the tight lip grin, Chris. I don't know. I'm I, a, the, the, nice, I have nice a lot of faith in the Lord. Maybe he will come down and help them. I don't know. He can all things you can do all things through Christ. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right. They're gonna need, yeah, <laughs> they're gonna need him. Baby, they're gonna need Christ, <laughs> Allah, Buddha. <laughs> Buddha. <laughs> My God today. Ooh, that was an outrageous take. Thank you, Chris. Um <laughs> I, you know what? Stranger things have happened. They've won five games. They're four, you know, four games out of out of eighth place. Mm-hmm. I I cannot and will not say that you are wrong. It's very possible. I just think it is very improbable. Yeah, <laughs> I'm with you, but I'm I'm sticking to it. But that's what's up. That's Those what's his up. people, he gonna stick beside them. So right. that's what's up. That's, what's up. that's what's up. I actually already gave my hot take earlier because we were in hot in conversation, and my hot take was that I think Diana Taurasi is gonna retire at this mm. in the second half of the season. So that's me. Ooh, we've that's discussed, good. we've debated, right. but I'm that I'm convinced that woman is saying I'm done. The second half. Of the <laughs> You're season. probably right. Yeah, I'll be right. Yeah, I, I gotta agree with you on that. For me, it's on, this is only because I'm partial to the sky. I just, I just feel like there's something about this team. There's something about their energy. You know, I feel like Camila Cardoso is gonna have a better second half of the year than she's had in the first half. I got them in the top five, rounding out the uh, once the regular season is over. I got them. Wait, in you the got five. wait, you got what? They're gonna five? jump up there. They're gonna jump up there. They're gonna jump up. Whoa, there. I feel it. I feel it in my spirit. I feel. Uh, you know how you had that miracle season? You know, like on the Mighty Ducks when they was terrible. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they were practicing a lot and they got in the V form and they would learn how to do the V and stuff on the ice and they got real good and beat everybody. I feel like that's going to be the case for the Chicago Sky. Kennedy Carter is playing out of her mind. I think Angel Reese's confidence is going to increase. If you can get Kennedy, Angel, and Camilla to be like on one accord from an offensive output and defensive output at the same time consistently, this team can beat anybody. In my opinion, Teresa Weatherspoon is a special, special coach. If their record was better, she'd be right up in there contention for coach of the year. I love what she's doing with this team. I love the attitude that they have. They are, they are a pack of dogs, and I mean that in the most endearing way. I love what's happening in Chicago. I got them going ahead and – uh yeah, they're going to be in the top five. Go ahead. And, uh, I don't know what Chris and Cherie had in their coffee this morning. But <laughs> I had a, I had a, I had a um, it's gone now. I don't drink coffee, but I had a pre-workout in my bottle. And it, it doesn't make me delusional, but it does give me energy. I'm just, and part of this, I told you, this is my faith in the Lord. We talked about, right. you know, him helping out the Dallas Wings. I believe that he will be there to do the same. And he is there to do the same for the Chicago Sky. It's going to happen. Producer Lauren. I, I think I think whatever the shit is they had is unfair that I ain't getting it. So next episode, hook your girl up because I would love to have this level of confidence that Chris and Sheree hey, man. Have Let me tell you, we got the anything. faith. We got the faith of a mustard seed. We are moving mountains. Do you understand me? By the end of the season, these mountains we have spoken to the mountain. Be ye removed. It will be cast into the sea. It it's gonna moved. happen. Ooh, child. Ooh, mercy. I was not expecting that. <laughs> you said Chicago was gonna be. You said Camilla well. You Cardoso. said Dallas was gonna be good. 
So I, I didn't know say they're gonna both. be. I said they're gonna make the play. That don't come that on. That says they're gonna be good to me. So hey, we both we're both holding out and holding on hope and holding out on faith. Hallelujah, Amen. Somebody, we said these were gonna be shocking takes. That's what we gave the people. You gave you were y'all were on <laughs> brink. My take wasn't shocking. Nah, was like, nah, like, mine was like, believable. Y'all, yeah, however, oh, oh, yeah. we believe so this here. means that somebody in that top five gonna yeah. get kicked out we're of We're manifesting top five. miracles right now. Right. Hallelujah. And this way, I don't y'all and well, guys, follow <laughs> us at, at uh <laughs> Make sure you are continuing to keep up with the three on three podcast because you need to see how this shit turns out. Yes, right? yes, ma'am. Yes, <laughs> at ma'am. The end of the day, so you make sure you follow us on X mm. at the three on three pod. You follow mm-hmm. us on IG at three on three podcast and um, follow us on YouTube, honey. Follow us every single place because I need to know what y'all think when this shit comes to a head at the end of the season. I don't need y'all to come for me. I need y'all to come for Chris and come for Cherie because they the ones who said it. 